Local Group Policy Objects. So we'll click on Start and Run and then we'll type in MMC and hit Enter which will open up a blank Microsoft Management Console. And then we'll come up here to the File menu and we'll click on Add Remove Snap-in. And then we'll press on the Add button and then we'll scroll down and we'll find the Group Policy Object Editor. And then we'll click Add. Now this will select the snap-in for the local computer which is what we want so then we'll click on Finish. We'll click Close and then OK. Now we can see the local computer policy in our MMC, so what we'll do is we'll just expand this to make it a little bit easier to see, and then we'll expand out our local computer policy. Now you can see we have two options, computer configuration and user configuration. The computer configuration contains the settings used to set policies that apply to computers regardless of which user logs into it, and these policies are applied when the operating system first boots up. User configuration contains a setting used to set policies that apply to users, regardless of the computer the user logs onto, and these policies are applied when users log onto the computer. Now if we expand both containers, we can see that each of them contain an identical set of subfolders. We have software settings, Windows settings, and administrative templates. Now under software settings, we can manage our applications. Windows settings lets us manage things like scripts and security settings and administrative templates contains registry based settings. Now remember that settings for the local GPO are applied only to the local computer. So with that in mind, let's go and take an in-depth look at non-local GPOs. After all, that's where most of you will be spending your time as an administrator.